I'm about to show you exactly how you can write viral content ideas in minutes. Now there are hundreds of videos online teaching you how to make content, how to go viral, etc. But in my opinion, a lot of them miss the most fundamental part, which is that you have to be very consistent and you wanna reduce as much friction as possible so that you actually make videos consistently. Now, the framework that I like to use is called the gap framework and it essentially is the following. We'll start with G. So G, can you guess? is actually growth. So growth, what is growth content? Growth content is focused on driving traffic and engagement. Now, this is the stuff that most people focus a lot on with their content. They just wanna get those views, they wanna get those numbers up. What that does is if you do get your numbers up and you get more views, you get leads. However, depending on the content that you make as a video creator, you might get a lot of filmmakers, a lot of editors, a lot of other creators to follow you. These guys are probably not gonna pay. However, the type of content you can make are actionable tips, how-to guys, and explanations. These are the kind of things that literally get more views. If you post just your final videos, what you're risking is only people who are interested in that specific product, that specific video, that specific client work. Those are the guys that are actually gonna to respond to you. And most likely, there's gonna be people that also like that kind of content as well. So if you wanna get leads, don't post that kind of content. You'd be surprised when I was posting a lot of content about car tutorials, how-to guides, I was getting the most client recommendations because they were like, hey, I see that you're an expert and you know how to do this, can you do it for us? So it does work to get clients, but the one that actually is going to get you clients is gonna be the next one, which is A. And A stands for authority. So authority establishes credibility, thought leadership, which are two important things that you want to be able to stand out in front of other people. Most of the creators that you follow have a specific thing that you follow them for. He's the guy that has really cool visuals and talks about filmmaking. He's the guy that talks about editing. He's the guy that talks about cars. He's the guy that talks about business. Now, you as a video creator need to establish your credibility. And the way you do that is by revealing expert insights in your industry. So if you're a wedding filmmaker, you wanna talk about what the latest trends in wedding videos are. If you're a car creator, you wanna talk about what videos are going viral with cars and why. You also wanna do research reports. So just Google, for example, if you are someone that does short form content, how many people are watching short form? How much are the platforms pushing short form content? And the next one is industry analysis. So. A lot of creators do this. They kind of just talk about their industry, how things are going. Next one is case studies. So actually talking about an experience you have with a client or you testing something out, that would be a, a study of a case. So for example, if I was a car creator, I'd be like, I tried to make the craziest car edit and this is what happened. And you kind of document that process. Or if you're a commercial filmmaker or you do ads, for example, you can be like, hey, I tried to make high converting ads for my clients and this is what happened. The next one is gonna be results. So actually posting results of that you get for your clients. And the reason you wanna do all of these is because these ones are the ones that are going to put you ahead of other creators and show you as an authority. Now if you're thinking, oh Camilo, I don't have any case studies. I don't have any results for my clients. Fine, you can very easily go and study somebody else's videos and make a video saying, this is why this creator is currently going viral and just literally break that down. And in you doing so, people are gonna go, oh shit, this guy who can understand this, he's an expert. And it also makes you an expert. So I do this all the time. I talk about my industry. I talk about my space and whatnot. And people can see that I know what I'm talking about. The next one is gonna be P, and that stands for personal. Most of you guys are trying to go faceless or you're trying to hide yourself away or not talk enough about your personality. And that is not gonna allow you to connect with your audience on a deeper level. That's a very important thing because this is social media. It's social, it's supposed to build a connection. Most creators that you know, you can probably learn a thing or two about their personal life or things that they like or values. Stuff that you can share could be behind the scenes content, right? How do they film, how do they edit, etc. Stories, okay, what did you do before until now? So for example, you can be like, if you're a beginner, day eight of trying to become a professional video editor and just document that. Gary Vee once said, the key to content success is you've got to start documenting instead of creating. Try and just document what you have going on with you right now. Next, you have personal experiences. So this could be, you know, you tried something and it didn't work or it did work and why? And then well, any beliefs and values you have, anything that you like and believe in, you can talk about it. Now this in theory is all very nice and cool. But how do you actually make content for your target audience so that it can go viral? So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get something called Poppy. Now you can go to a website called getpoppy.ai, you can click the link below and you actually get $25 off. And if you pay for it, it's literally the same price as ChatGPT, but it's like ChatGPT and Myro had a baby. This is what it looks like, as you can see here. It basically has a chat and you can connect sources of information to it. So what you wanna do is essentially go to a fresh board and you, you wanna create a chat. Now, if you click 
in the description below, I'm going to give you a specific prompt that gives you all the information that I share with you today. And you can see, you can add a text and you can paste it here. And then what I want to do is I want to link this to the chat. Then I want to ask it, do you understand what gap is? Okay, then it's going to say yes. Next, what you need to do is you need to feed it some accomplishments that you've had in your business. Now you can type this out if you want, or you can actually do a voice note. So I'll do a voice note. My name is Camilo and I've generated millions of views on my YouTube channel, 12 million views. I used to be a very broke editor charging $50 for like a 30 minute edit. But now I charge clients two, five, even 9K to make videos. Okay, so now I have the voice note with some accomplishments. Then you want to talk about your personal world views. So I'll just do a voice note. Some of my personal world views, I believe that sound design is very important. I think that most editors uh, are not very good at selecting music. I think pacing is more important than graphics. I think you don't have to be the best editor in the world to get clients. And I also believe that everyone has the equal opportunity to be successful in a business. And I'm hoping to help you guys do the same thing. Okay, so that's two. So now we have our compliments and we have our personal views. Next, what I need to do is actually define my target audience. See, if I go here, I'm gonna make a new chat. I'm gonna copy a prompt that I've made for you in the description below, which is my target audience is, and I'll just do video editors. I want to create content for them that helps them solve their problems. Please tell me the problems they have from achieving their goal of becoming full-time and working with cool clients that pay them well, make each problem as detailed as possible. Boom. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna give me the core problems that you guys are facing, financial and career stability, client acquisition, retention, technical creative blocks, business and personal development, etc. Fantastic. Now I'm gonna link my case studies, a little bit about me. And then what I need to do as well is I need to show what I sound like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just find a YouTube video. Let's go for one of these ones, an old one, copy the link. Now I'm going to paste it. Then I'm saying now listen to all the voice notes and watch my video to understand my tone of voice. So now it's going to understand what I sound like, which is very important. Okay, cool. I'm educational. I'm direct. I'm honest, confident, but humble. Hey, I love that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so now it's time to generate some content ideas. But before you do that, you want to actually source really good viral videos that you know do well. So. What I can do is I can go on TikTok and I can search steal these viral hooks. I love this guy. He makes some really cool videos. So I'm going to just copy all of these videos. Steal these viral hooks. Um, paste and paste. Now, using the gap framework I told you about, which is this thing that's in the description down below, create 10 hooks for each gap framework make sure to use the TikTok videos attached that provide hook ideas enter now it's going to give me some growth content authority expertise and personal content so for example growth content if your video editor charging under a thousand dollars this is for you one of your edits cost 500 one of the other one costs 5000 can you split the difference pov your video editor making 10k a month boom these are great growth videos. Logan Paul's editor just revealed the biggest secret. That's really good because it's using famous people, famous characters for growth content. Now for authority content, 12 things you should know about client contracts. This is the secret to landing high paid clients. Top five things successful editors want you to know. Your ability to retain clients is actually determined by this. The most interesting editing technique I've learned in the last decade. Great and personal content. How I went from charging five to 5K. Why editors are going to hate me for talking about this pricing secret. The real reason I stopped using After Effects for everything. My biggest editing failure. So these are now personal. Boom. Now you have hooks for all these videos that you can now go film. This is daily content now. So you have zero excuses because now you're using some of the most viral videos that you can find. You're actually in invoking your own personal life and story. And if you ask it to write the script, it's going to use your actual tone of voice. Now, this is the secret source because we are now in an age where it's no longer about you having to figure things out yourself. You can cut a lot of the time it takes to make things. You can use AI and basically curate and find the best parts of yourself and the best knowledge from online to make things that actually go viral. So this is exactly what I've done to grow my page. And anytime I use this, my videos get like 13K, 10, 10, 10K. Like I'm not going crazy because I'm very niche, but what you want is you want to just be able to have content consistently that helps the people you want to help. So if you're going to use Poppy, click the first link down below. This isn't sponsored by them. You know, it's just an app that I love to use. But if you want to know how to actually use music the right way to keep your viewers' attention, you want to click this video right here. And I'll see you on that one. Peace.